Hello again. So, yesterday uh, I, I earned up enough gold to get myself a Thysseus. So, that's going to be the next weapon that I'm going to work on getting a full set of. The Thysseus, which is a plasma emitter. Um, since I only had one, I wanted to make a build where I could mainly use just one weapon. So yeah, I'm using a Thysseus and a Prometheus 5 on this build. As well as the Dunhorse engine. And the uh, Chameleon. I'm using the Fury Cabin. Mainly because I just wanted to make a Humvee. So yeah, this is the build. Now, if I had the new um, ambush pilot, I could uh, I could definitely run that on this in ambush. This build does not do a ton of damage very quickly, but it does do good damage. That or this build is just tanky. No, it's got 7,000 durability. So it's not the tankiest, but for the opponents we'll be facing, it will do just fine. We're not going to be facing, like, super high tier opponents. There will be some that will have high level weapons. Um, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, this will be the build we're running in today, and um... I am in a squad with with uh, Ghostface because he wanted to squad up. So yeah, we're gonna hop into a match and yeah, out of the pilots I have unlocked, uh, Adeline is the one I would want to use for this build. All right, uh, into a match, and I will talk to you then. Okay, two bots on both teams, then players. Hmm. He's running a single punisher. Let's we'll see how this goes. This isn't, in my opinion, ideal. When you're running in a squad, you tend to get paired against somewhat higher level opponents or opponents that are also in a squad. This is, is level one. Okay, well that didn't go well. Ooh, this could have got a reload module underneath. Wait, this guy is literally the only opponent left. I'll do one more match with Ghostface and then I will hop into a match by myself and we shall see how that does. I did pretty well though. Okay, that guy looks kind of cool. And I just got stuck on something. Okay. Wait, where is it? Oh, we got somebody with a harvester.
Nice. everything here. Okay. Well, one thing's for sure, having a strong teammate is being, is proving helpful. Okay, well, like I just fell off. Where's the last guy? Back there. And the bill just tipped. He jumped off to his doom. I'm gonna do the same. <laughs> Three kills, two assists, but not anywhere near as much damage. Alright, so I'm going to leave the group now, and I am going to queue on my own and see how that affects the opponents that we face, the kinds of opponents we face. I will see you then. Hmm. Seems like we got one player in all pots. Let's see how this goes. I gotta be careful because the bots here, whilst they're all running level 1 stuff, they aren't exactly a joke. Okay, everybody's too far away. Oh yeah, that's one thing with these weapons. If the Theseus hits all of its shots, it will do chain damage to up to three nearby enemies. Somebody marked me. I have to hit the entire burst from the Theseus. But if I do, it will chain uh, it will chain link and hit up to three other enemies. Not in a row. It will hit up to three nearby enemies, so they have to be nearby the person who I hit with the full burst. Which means if there's a group of five people, uh, I hit it one of them with three bursts, uh, with a full burst. Uh, three out of the four other players that I did not hit will receive damage. It's a set amount of damage, but it's nice, and it's especially useful in PvE. See if I can take off that engine. Crossbow's mounted to the engine, so. It is a Colossus engine, though, so. It'll take a little bit. For this way, I might as well just fire at the crossbow. It's already almost broken. There we go. Oh, and now the engine falls off. I only have the uh, Theseus left. Mm. Nice. <coughs> Queuing times for a vehicle, the slow power score will be longer. Because... Yeah. There's less players. 
Alright. Well, I'm gonna hop into the next match, and I will talk to you then. Alright. So, I wanted to hop into a PvE match real quick. To show y'all the chain damage effect this thing does. I can damage everybody with this. Okay, not quite everybody, but a lot of them. Ah, I forgot this boss. Okay. okay, I'm gonna take off those tiny turrets. One thing I forgot to mention is I'm running the, uh, tomahawk wheels. Now. Ordinarily, it's not the nicest thing to, uh, lower your power score so that your to run a low power score build so that you're fighting uh, low power score opponents with a strong weapon. People do it anyways. And to be fair, I do do it. But it's a little easier on opponents because I don't level up my weapons for the most part. And I haven't done it in a while. This is my first time doing a low power score run in a while. However, if you're going to do PvE and you want to do low power score, especially if you're doing classic, that is actually that is a very different story. It is actually quite helpful because classic is harder than uh, chips, and even if you're doing chips, newer players can still use the help. Right now, I'm just looking to break the paneling that's holding it together. Okay. Can and this would be why bots are so damn annoying. self-destruct here. That way I can re get my build redone. That guy's very annoying. This guy's useless. Which one is the teammate? Oh. It was that. That guy. The one that I said was a bot. Apparently it's a bot, but it's very annoying. All right, one thing I will say when fighting those those guys: take off the uh, if one of them has grenade launchers, take them off. And as you can see, I'm shooting one guy, 
and damaging multiple. As long as I hit the full burst, I can damage nearby enemies. seems to have landed a shot and is now actually contacting the opponents or in contact with the opponents so that takes care of that now I got these guys coming up Crossbow ones are annoying, but the melee ones are actually deadly. few seconds and the final boss. Okay, yeah. We're not gonna pass this. This would be one of the few errors, though, where I would say it's actually a good, uh, a good idea and quite helpful, or not a good idea, but a helpful idea to run low power score. Strong weapons on a low power score build is what I mean by that. But yeah. Yep. I was hoping that would go better, but yeah. This just doesn't deal that much damage. Now, if I was running two of them, it would be better because I'd be shooting two lightning bolts every time I hit it, it, a burst with each of them. Or one lightning bolt. I'd be shooting one lightning bolt per burst. Let me check something. Yesterday they were actually fairly low as far as price goes. Yep, they've gone back up. They went down to 2,800 or so yesterday. Alright, I'm going to do one more PvP match. And I will talk to you next time after that. Okay, six players, six bots. I'm oh, sorry, but what is this? Yes, helpless arrows, right? Okay, well, we got somebody with a Reaper. I don't want to go blindly rushing into the enemies either because they might also have something strong like that. Um, Reachers.
now. Kind of hard to do anything when you get tagged on by three enemies. Granted, that third guy didn't do anything. Yeah. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh. I left him just as he got into contact, but he apparently died. Okay, that guy's got two heal use. Minigun guy is a player and the other guy is not. and we'll see how it goes and I will see you in there. Alright, well, I might have to cut this match short, but, uh, so for now, I will just say hope you enjoyed and, uh, yeah. In the meantime, we'll hop into the match and see how things go. But, if I have to leave before the match is over, Sorry. Okay, somebody's coming up behind me. Or not. Oh my god, you stupid ass fucking teammate. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, that's just screwed up. It was a bot, so that's not too surprising. It was a bot that got in my way, but that is still no better. Still got a decent build. We won that, but no thanks to me or that one annoying bot. Alright, well, anyways, that'll be that. Hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you next time.